Hi, I'm the 13th Wolfman. This is my review for Mill Creeks. Another two pack that they got uh, Plain God and Color of Night. The movie I'm going to talk about right now is Color of Night. In this movie, Bruce Willis plays uh, a psychologist who what who at the beginning of the movie is helping you know is helping out somebody in his office and he kind of snaps at her which leads her to commit suicide um, in this when when he sees what happens to her it causes him to have temporary case of color blindness all the all the red in his life had just uh flushed and became gray. He goes out to California. <clears throat> this is in New York. He goes out to California to visit a friend, Scott Bakula. You may know him from Quantum Leap, you know, our um, enterprise. He's a colleague. They went to college together. And uh, he goes out there and he sees what, what Scott Bakula is doing with what's called the Monday Night Group. And it's five people that are like all sit around in group therapy you know none of them are really likable characters you know uh, you've got you got Casey the starving artist who is a son of a you know he's basically a rich boy um, you got Sandra played by Leslie Ann Warren who doesn't think anybody could ever love her. You got Buck, played by Lance Henriksen. You know, who lost his daughter and his wife. Uh, we find out about that story later. There's a lot more to it. You got Brad Dourif. That's right, the voice of Chucky. Charles Lee Ray. Um, playing Clark. This little weasel. I didn't even recognize him. I, I saw that Brad Dourif was in the movie, but I didn't even recognize him. It just, he, he was so, his hair was slicked down. He was wearing glasses. Just didn't look Brad Dourif, you know. So partway through the first act, uh, Sam Bakula winds up getting killed. Now we're all trying, now the rest of the movie is to figure out who killed Scott Bakula and why. I had this movie figured out about I'd say just after Scott Bakula got killed I kinda of figured out uh, why. The who I they kinda of threw a, a curveball at me. I didn't quite get the who. I almost got the who but it's an okay movie. Um, I, I'd never seen this before. This came out in 94, I believe. So, this movie almost feels like it's, it, because it came out at that time, like it was almost trying to compete with, like, Pulp Fiction or something. It just had that kind of feeling to it. I'm not saying the way that the stories are derived or anything, just that kind of feeling. Um, the characters are very, very 90s. They really are. They're just... Um, overall, it's a good movie. I, I did like the the ending and the who. I, that like I said, I almost got that, but I didn't quite. Um, I give this a solid two and three quarter chainsaws. Maybe maybe three chainsaws. I mean, it was a good movie. You know. Somewhere in there. It, like I said, it was a good movie. Uh, Bruce Willis did a good job. Uh, Leslie Ann Warren. Leslie Ann Warren looked pretty nice. There was another female in it. Um, what was her name? Uh, Jane March. I know I've, I know I've heard that name before. I know I've seen her before. I just can't place where. You know, so I'm gonna have to look it up. But yeah, so that's that's my review for for Color of Night. I am the Thirteenth Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.